Hey guys, welcome back to Unbiased Magic Reviews. I hope you're having a good Friday. Today, I'm gonna to be taking a look at UPS by Roddy McGee and D. Christopher. Let's take a look at the trailer. No other peak on the market can do what I'm about to demonstrate for you. A spectator writes a word or a number on the business cards. It's held face down with your head turned away. It's placed inside the middle of a stack of business cards, squared up so you couldn't be holding any breaks, and shown front and back so there's no way that you could get a peek. At this point you really have no idea what's written on the card. And from this point onwards you don't riffle the stack, you don't use any sleight of hand techniques. As soon as you activate the UPS gimmick, the information is delivered to you instantly and invisibly. They can literally be burning your hands all the way through and they still won't see how you manage to know that information. UPS is a unique mentalism tool that will allow you to peek hidden information in the strictest of conditions. You'll also be taught Roddy's routine that he's used professionally at all of his gigs for a long time. It's really a game of word disassociation. I want you to write the next word in the sequence that has nothing to do with the other two. We even give you a bonus method which is completely angle proof. The gimmick that Roddy has made is mind blowing, but it's also very easy to construct and you'll be able to do so in just a few minutes. My name is D. Christopher and this is UPS by Roddy McGee and yours truly. Okay guys, you took a look at the trailer. If you're not familiar with this, this is a business card peak. That's what this is. So as always, I'm gonna give you guys my initial impressions. I'm gonna go over a couple of questions you probably have about this and then give you some final thoughts. So this costs $15 and for that, you're gonna get the materials you need to make the UPS gimmick. And you're gonna get a one hour instructional download that's going to give you uh, two handling presentations for this as well as two different peaks in a variation of the second one. Um, the instruction will teach you how to make the UPS gimmick and how to use it and um, give you some also some tips just in general about how to use business card peaks and other handling ideas. Um, so let's go over the ad copy briefly. Uh, the ad copy says this, that the UPS is a unique mentalism tool that will allow you to get a peak under the strictest of conditions. Well, that's Close to being true, the strictest of conditions would be that the person can write something on the card and then put the card in their pocket. That would be the strictest of conditions, but it's pretty strict overall. Um, here they advertise the gimmick literally does all the work for you. Once activated, it will deliver the peak to you under natural cover, which that is true. In your hour long download, you will also learn how to make the gimmick. You will learn Roddy's word disassociation routine, which is a staple in his act which that's true, although I'm gonna give you guys an alternate idea because I don't really like that routine. You will learn a second method for peaking that does not involve any construction at all. That's true, although uh, it does involve sleight of hand and they don't mention that here. Uh, Roddy will talk through one of his older ideas and how you can use the new methods to enhance it. That is true. He also teaches you uh, his recollector uh, routine from his Penguin Live Act, which I don't have, so I never saw that until now. Um, so overall, the ad copy, it's relatively uh, accurate. Um, so the next thing you probably are wondering is how difficult is this to perform? And I'll tell you guys, it's really self-working for the most part. Uh, there's no sleight of hand. The gimmick does everything for you. It's really easy and uh, all the movements are well motivated. So you're not doing any strange movement for no reason. The peak has gotten under natural cover. You're actually doing something that would give you a reason to look at your hands at that moment, which I thought was good. Uh, I have already road tested this on multiple spectators and I can tell you guys that in my own experimenting with it, I learned very quickly that the type of business card you use does matter. So if you have real thin, cheap business cards, this is not gonna work very well with those. Um, I actually have various, I have some that are really thick cardstock and those, this seem to work the best. Not only thick cardstock, but also glossy. If you have some that have a glossy finish, this will work really well with those. 
So that's just a tip that I give you guys just from my own experiences. Um, but overall, this is like beginner level in terms of difficulty to perform. The second version or the other peak that is taught um, use a sleight of hand and that is a lot more advanced. That's a lot more difficult. I would say that's like advanced for somebody. Um, that's something that is not going to be as simple to use, especially because you have to hold out. So if you think about that, holding out is like palming. So if you're comfortable palming cards, then you would be comfortable with the second method that's taught. I don't think it's anything difficult or strange, but for some reason people have adversity anytime they have to hold out or palm something, they freak out about that. So I just mentioned that up front to you guys, and I actually like the variation of the second peak better than the second peak. I thought the variation was extremely well motivated and very fooling. So that was my thoughts on that. The next question you probably have is, how does this compare with other peaks? I'm gonna tell you guys that overall, I think that it really can stand next to any other business card peak with one exception that you don't get to peak the full card. You're only really seeing the bottom the bottom like 30% of the card, if that even. And so because of that, you're limited in the amount of area that you're actually gonna see. This is best used with a word or a number and at least with like a picture. So that's the only real limitation with this. In terms of business card peaks, there are so many out there and I've used so many and I've, I've experimented with so many. I mean, you have business card, and this is just pure business card peaks. You have business card peaks of Jerome Finley, business card peaks of um, Atlas Brooklyn, a business card peaks of Mark Chandow, uh, Scott Creasy, I, I could go on and on. In fact, if there is interest, I may even make just a video on my favorite five like business card peaks, just top five business card peaks, which are just peaks of business cards. And that will range from everywhere from gimmick to just sleight of hand. And that, that may be something people are interested. If there is interest, I might make a video on that for you guys. Um, so let's uh, take a look at some other questions you have. What are the arts and crafts like to actually build the gimmick? I'm gonna tell you you're supplied with the materials you need, although you probably already own them. I, I did already own the, the things that you needed to make this, and it took me less than five minutes to make it. So it's very quick to make it. The materials are very cheap. So that's a good thing. Um, and the angles for this are relatively really good. Of course, you can't have somebody standing right behind you looking over your shoulder, but other than that, I think the angles are excellent overall. Um, they're not gonna see really anything. The um, stack of cards that you're holding is not really examinable, although nobody really wants to examine it, so I don't think that that matters. In terms of the one hour instructional video that you're gonna get, uh, I thought the teaching was really good. I had one little issue though, because Roddy McGee, he starts it by going over the construction of the gimmick, which I thought was fine, and then he showed you how to use it, and he goes over his routine, the word disassociation, which I didn't really like the routine, but some people might. The one thing I didn't like too is that the how to do the cleanup of that handling, he didn't show you until near the end of the video, because he goes over that, and then he also teaches you the second type of peak and that handling, and there's like a cutout there where D. Christopher comes on and gives you some different ideas that he has of just peeking and revealing information. So it was a little bit um, disjuncted in that way, you know, where you had like he talked, Roddy McGee talked for a little while, he presented stuff, and then he came back again at the end of the video. You know, in terms of the routines, uh, he does go over his word disassociation routine and he also teaches his recollector routine that he also taught on his Penguin Live Act, which I never saw it until now because I don't have his Penguin Live Act. But his word disassociation routine, the one that's in the trailer, honestly, I really didn't like it. And I changed up the handling myself in my own performances. And in case you're wondering what that would be, the way that I do it is I make three lines on the business card and I hand the business card to the spectator and I tell them I want them to write their name on the top. And then I tell them I'm, I don't wanna see the other information that they write, I tell them to write their birthday. And then on the final line, I tell them to write a word that they think best describes them. And the reason I do these things is because I think that if you're going to do a peek and you're gonna give somebody a reading or a revelation, I think there has to be some kind of emotional connection. The idea of I'm just gonna write down a couple of random words and then I want you to write down a random word under that, that doesn't make sense. There's no emotional connection. The person would care less about that. So my method of doing my presentation is that I have them write down their birthday, which I don't see, 
And then underneath that, they write down the word that best describes them. And then what ends up happening is I do a star sign divination. Um, star sign or horoscope divination, which doesn't require that I need to know what their birthday is. Um, but the fact that you're going to reveal their star sign to them, um, it makes it seem like you knew what their birthday was, even though you don't. And during that is when I get the peak of the word that best describes them. And so not only do I reveal their star sign, but I'm also revealing the word that, that they feel best describes them and also give them a character reading. And the order that I do it is this, reveal the star sign, give them a character reading based on their star sign, and also keeping in mind that word. And then finally, at the end, you come up with that word that they wrote. And it almost makes it seem like as if it's like you finally just came up with that word from some inspiration from going through this character read with them. I just feel that that's the bet. I mean, for me personally, that's the handling that I like to use with this, especially since I'm only getting a peek of a small area of the card. And this is how I've experimented with it and I've had some good uh, results with it. So that's why I'm telling you guys, in case you wanna try that yourself. Um, so that's pretty much what you're gonna get with this project. The big positives is that you're gonna get a really clever method for getting a business card peak. And I have not really seen this done before um, so that's really original. There's no sleight of hand. There's no tell that you're doing something because you're not even moving in any way, which is great. I think that that's really awesome. The price is right for this. You're getting some excellent instruction, uh, probably more than you really even need. Um, so it's something that you could really just take with you and just start using immediately. And the price of the materials you need to construct this are really cheap. So all those things are the positives. The real negative of this, if there is any negative, is probably just that the area of the card that you're peaking is relatively small overall. So I wouldn't hesitate though to give this four out of five stars uh, because I think of all the above that I've already told you that's really good about this. I hope that you guys have enjoyed my review today. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. If you have any questions about this product or anything else, or if you want me to review something that you're interested in, if I own it, I will review it. Just leave me a comment below. Thanks again, guys, for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next review.